week on Geek Crash Course, we're talking about Mass Effect. Nice suit. Well, thanks. I was going for an elusive man look. Oh, by the way, here you go. What's that for? Your skin. Created by BioWare, originally for the Xbox 360, but with versions now available for Windows and PlayStation 3. It takes place in the far future, where the galaxy, humans and aliens alike, is under threat from various hostile alien forces, and you, as Commander Shepard, must battle them off and save the universe. Mass Effect is unique in that it allows you to choose a variety of paths within the story. Where do you go? Who do you have a relationship with? What gender is the lead character? All's up for grabs in Mass Effect. Also, your saved game data from a previous installment can be imported to the next, allowing you to save and play in your own unique version of the universe. The cornerstone of technology in Mass Effect is the Mass Effect field. What this lets you do is increase or decrease mass, with the small scale effect of kind of telekinetic powers and the large scale effect of propelling a starship. The Citadel is the hub of the galaxy, which is populated by various races in Mass Effect. Including humans who are humans. Uh, we're pretty low on the totem pole galactically, but we're still important. Like, Shepard is a human, so we matter. Asari are blue unisexuals who are wise and spiritual, and they live to be about a thousand. Turians are the soldier race of the galaxy. They're very militaristic and organized, that kind of thing. Salarians only live to be about 40, but they only sleep an hour a day, and they're super smart. And the Keepers are the mysterious race who run the Citadel. Who they are is just one of the many mysteries in Mass Effect. The lead character in Mass Effect is Commander Shepard, male or female, depending on your choice, who is the first human specter, an elite group of soldiers. As Shepard, you become the leader of the SSV Normandy and the other characters on your team. Liara Tassoni is an Asari expert in alien archaeology and a skilled information broker. She's also a powerful biotic, which means that she can create Mass Effect fields that give her powers like telekinesis and force blasts. Garrus Vakarian is a Turian Citadel Security Force officer. He's a badass and a skilled engineer. Tali Zora is a Quarian, a race of nomads who live in a flotilla of ships. She has to wear an atmospheric suit to survive, so her real appearance is a mystery. And engineering skills are really prioritized by her race, so she's very skilled at technology. Caden Alenko and Ashley Williams are two human alliance marines who join you on your mission. Caden is a sentinel, a soldier highly skilled in biotics, and Ashley is the daughter of a military family who's skilled in armor and heavy weapons. Depending on your choices in the game, these characters can either live all the way to the end of Mass Effect 3 or die somewhere along the way. And Jeff Joker Moreau is the pilot of the Normandy. He suffers from Vrolik Syndrome, which is basically confined under the pilot seat. He's also voiced by Seth Green. Mass Effect 2 introduced new characters like Morden Solis, a brilliant Solarian scientist. Members of the militantly pro-human Cerberus like Miranda Lawson and Jacob Taylor. Grunt, a tank-born Krogan, basically a hulking reptilian soldier who lives up to his name. Jack, or Subject Zero, who is part of a Cerberus experiment to enhance human biotics that left her a little crazy. And the Elusive Man, the mysterious head of Cerberus, a pro-human paramilitary group. He goes to show that a good suit is classy, no matter the century. He's also voiced by Martin Sheen. Mass Effect is unique in that it doesn't capitalize the names of alien races just like we don't capitalize the word human. The first Mass Effect game begins your journey as Commander Shepard as you struggle to fight the advance of the renegade specter Saren Arterius, who is leading an army of alien robots called the Geth. Over the course of the game, you, as Shepard, learn that Saren was merely a mind-controlled vanguard for a larger enemy, the Reapers, hostile aliens who purge systems of life every 50,000 years, and guess who's due for a cleansing? Mass Effect 2 takes place two years later, as human colonies start disappearing without a trace. You, as Shepard, form an uneasy alliance with pro-human group Cerberus. Eventually, you're led to the Collectors, a race of insect-like aliens who are working for the Reapers. So you and your team, including returning faces from the first game, go on a suicide mission to stop them. Mass Effect 2 also features a few expansion packs, including additional story points with the Elusive Man and a potentially major change in your gaming experience involving the Shadow Broker. Mass Effect 
3, out now, plans to end the story with Shepard forced to flee the Earth to band together other advanced races in the galaxy for an all-out battle against the Reapers. Mass Effect 3 will have three different gameplay styles, roleplay, action, and story. Roleplaying is the same Mass Effect game style as in previous entries. Action mode streamlines the cutscenes for maximum fight time. And story mode will make combat easier for players who are more invested in the Mass Effect storyline than they are in button mashing. Play the Mass Effect games. Mass Effect 1 isn't mandatory, but definitely play Mass Effect 2 and save your game data and have it ready for Mass Effect 3 out now. If you love the Mass Effect games, also give the novels and comics a try. We get to talk to the lead writer of Mass Effect, Mac Walters, at New York Comic Con 2011, and he was as enthusiastic about the expanded universe of novels and comics as he was about the games. The design for the experimental SSV Normandy was based on modern Delta Wing fighters and the 1980s era supersonic Concorde. Thanks for watching this week's episode on Mass Effect. If you've got any questions, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, or our website, geekcrashcourse.com. Subscribe above, comment below, and we'll see you next week on, on Geek Crash Course. Course. I was going to say story time. And story time has Mr. Rogers tell you what's going on. And story... <laughs> Logo-a-go-go. -go.